tragic and violent crash. I was out there live last night. I saw it all. We're learning more information about a deadly crash that took the lives of two people in the west part of our valley. Police right now believe the driver of a red Mercedes was driving drunk. We thank you for joining us today at 3. I'm Reed Cowan. And I'm Latoya Silman. The passenger in that Mercedes tells News 3 that she and her boyfriend were at Dave and Buster's right before that crash happened. News 3's Antonio Castellan joins us live. And Antonio, what else did the passenger have to say? Latoya, 23-year-old Morgan Hurley tells me she prays for the two people who lost their lives right here at this intersection. Metro Police say the red Mercedes that Hurley was in blew this red light and plowed into a Toyota Prius that was right over there at that spot. Here is a mugshot of the 23-year-old man police say was driving under the influence. He is Henry Aparicio. Police say Aparicio was driving with his girlfriend Morgan Hurley. The two had just wrapped up a night at Dave & Buster's. They were just a couple of blocks away from Hurley's apartment when police say the Mercedes plowed into a white Toyota Prius. The Prius was at a red light. The two people in that Prius died at the scene. They were a 39-year-old man and 33-year-old woman said to be from G, Nevada. Morgan Hurley says she does not remember what happened after the crash, but does say she feels for the victims. This is what she said over the phone from the UMC intensive care unit. I'm so sorry. God is watching out for you and he's going to meet you. And it should have never happened. After the crash, a GoFundMe was set up for Morgan Hurley, and it appears that she set it up. She was asking for $25,000 to pay for medical bills. After receiving many hate messages, that GoFundMe account was taken down. As for her boyfriend, Henry Aparicio, he's there at the Clark County Detention Center. He is facing several DUI and reckless driving charges. He is set to appear before a judge tomorrow morning. Tonight at 6, you'll hear more from Morgan Hurley. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Yeah, Antonio, I saw that GoFundMe page and the comments were very uh, angry, to say the least. People thought that it was in poor taste for to ask for money after two people had lost their lives. We'll have more in later newscasts. Developing now, Metro